There it is. The Memphocaster. Sequence 1. This is just the start, folks. There's a lot more needs to be done to it. But let's go over it in a little bit of detail. The pickups had to go. Why? Because I wanted Telecaster pickups. That's why. It's like they're awesome. Even though these aren't the, te the Texas Specials I thought they were, these are just some cheap, regular, I don't know, probably Squire Tele pickups. Surprise, surprise, but what the hell, they were free. And I like free, and they don't sound too bad. And Mr. Robert Jacob, in doing some routing out and all that other fun stuff, found some pretty cool old tortoise shell to go around it, which just adds to it aesthetically. Now, any guitar player that has issues with strats like I do knows that the volume knob was the worst goddamn thing in the world, and guess what? It's gone. It, it now has what I call the anti-suck knob. It doesn't do anything. It's just there for looks. The knobs? Well, volume, tone. And yes, Strat fans, I now have tone on the bridge pickup. I can control it. You can't. Ha ha. And look at those. Translucent red chicken head knobs. Guess what? That alone makes my guitar cooler than anything you own. Ah, ah, ah. I kept the five-way switch. I have use for it. I can get quite an interesting variety of sounds, especially with these pickups. If you notice, the middle pickup is pretty much flush with the body now. Changes the sounds a bit. It's pretty cool. You'll hear it in a minute. But, and yes, for those of you saying, who needs a Bigsby? Hey, I like Bigsby's. I have a lot of guitars that have Bigsby's. See? I like Bigsby's. But, every now and then, like an old-fashioned Fender kind of whammy bar. Because there are things you can do with this that you can't do with that. You see? But, like I said, this is the Memphocaster Sequence 1. It's going to get uglier. Trust me, folks. And you're going to be glad it did. <laughs>